the concept of heroes and the concept of powers and the concept of, um, you know, kind of everyday people just like suddenly finding out they have like this weird genetic mutation that gives them special abilities. I think uh, it's the reason why I was a giant X-Men fan growing up as a kid and why I keep even to this day secretly hoping that I'll have some kind of genetic mutation that will allow me to either fly or turn invisible or teleport or read minds or whatever. Holy moly, I'm big! Hey everybody, a bunch of you requested I do a video for the Shazam casting in the Justice League DCEU universe. So we have our Black Adam and we have our Shazam now. So if you weren't sure or you couldn't tell from the clip that I included at the beginning of that, Zachary Levi has been cast as Billy Batson in the Shazam movie. Now separately, they have a Black Adam spin-off movie that's going to probably tell his origin story. We don't know exactly what the Shazam movie is going to be about, but I have a couple of ideas and it mostly has to do with the new 52 mythology because of some copyright stuff that happened between Marvel because of the whole Captain Marvel name and the Marvel family. But there is a new round of the Justice League ticket giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. Just a couple days ago, they released a trailer for Justice League where one of the gods from Wonder Woman was shooting lightning at Steppenwolf and people were like, wait a minute, is that the wizard Shazam? Because it was a big flashback scene from thousands of years ago. So just to be clear, as of me posting this video, I have not seen the movie yet, but I am almost positive that there is no Shazam stuff happening in the Justice League movie. And if they did include anything from that mythos because they're trying to build the universe out, then it's really just at Easter egg level. So I'm only expecting Easter eggs for the wizard Shazam. But anytime you see lightning in the Justice League trailer, it's either natural lightning or it's the Flash's speed force lightning and he's leaving his speed trails as he's running around. So like this really cool shot that looks like it was inspired by a comic book with the lightning bolt behind Batman, that's just the Flash jumping down to Earth from the flying fox behind Batman. But what's happening next year is that they're getting ready to shoot the Shazam movie, which means that they probably already have a finished script or they're finishing it. So you'll actually start seeing behind the scenes pictures of them filming wherever they end up going to do that. Like you've seen behind the scenes Aquaman stuff happening because they just finished that movie. Same thing will happen next year for Shazam. They haven't said anything about Black Adam's presence in that movie, but because The Rock is one of the most busy actors in the world right now, I'm not sure when they're expecting the Black Adam movie to come out. So there's a little bit of confusion about where these characters are going to pop up, how they're going to introduce them. But a lot of you heard the name Zachary Levi and you're like, okay, so he's Fandral in the Thor movies. What's happening now? Perhaps next time we should start with the big one. I can't really talk about what happens to his character during Thor Ragnarok without getting into spoilers. But suffice to say, he is now a major DC character, so he's probably not going to be in any more Marvel movies. But the whole idea with casting someone like Zachary Levi is that you're casting an adult to play a child, somebody with the mind of a child in the body of an adult. So that just screams Zachary Levi. So he's perfect for that. But, you know, because Shazam looks like this really hardcore Superman style dude, obviously he's going to be spending a lot of time in the gym until then. They literally made the announcement. Then one of his trainers said, just got out of a four hour session with Zachary Levi. So remember what Chris Hemsworth looked like before he became the Thor character? They've actually posted some of their audition tapes for that. This is pre-Thor Chris Hemsworth. This is what he looks like now. I've got lots of muscles, so <laughs> technically more brains. So they basically need this childlike actor to play this huge hulked out dude that could fight somebody like The Rock or Superman convincingly. Because I believe the casting notices have gone out for the other members of the Shazam family, the other kids. So you have Mary, Freddie Freeman, Eugene, Pedro, Darla, Tawny, all people from Jeff John's New 52 Shazam run. So if you're not familiar with the characters or you haven't read them in a long time, I would recommend you stick to the new 52 Shazam run because that was sort of Jeff Johns retooling the character and rooting his origins much more in magic and mythology. So that's probably what the movie is going to draw from. But obviously it's going to be an original story that'll deal with his origins that are usually very faithful to that part of it. But whatever the action of the movie is going to be, however he's going to defeat the villain, if that's not Black Adam, I think it will be Black Adam, but you never know. 
is that it'll sort of draw on the things that have been going on in the DCEU, while at the same time being its own separate movie. So I know you're all wondering, are Justice League characters like Superman, Batman going to cross over into the Shazam Black Adam movies? So just talking about this first Shazam movie, I think if there's going to be crossover, it will only be like a really third hand cameo type situation. Remember in Suicide Squad, how they talked about what happened with Superman, how the world had been affected by what had happened. I think that's probably how they'll treat the Justice League characters. Maybe we'll get a full-blown cameo by someone like Gal Gadot because her character is rooted in mythology and magic. Or maybe Henry Cavill because in the comics, Billy Batson is a Superman fanboy. So hopefully they'll find really cool ways of working that into the movie. So even if you're not going to have a lot of Superman, it would be really awesome to see a younger version of Billy Batson, whoever they cast to play the child version of the character, running around in a Superman t-shirt. But obviously it's going to be the wizard Shazam, whoever they cast to be that, that will offer him all of his guidance as he gets his powers and then takes on Black Adam. But if you have been following the history of this, they actually cast The Rock as Black Adam a long time ago. And supposedly they were going to do the Black Adam movie first. Now it almost seems like they might do Shazam first. But I think that they'll save the Black Adam origin for the Black Adam movie. So if he does appear during the Shazam movie, he'll probably just come in like you saw in the animated movie that I've been including all the clips for in this. If you're not sure what this is, it's Superman Shazam, The Return of Black Adam. It was from back in 2010, so it was a while ago. But it sort of tells a version of the New 52 origin story. So it's actually good to watch too. If you don't wanna read the comics, you can watch that animated movie. But what they could also do is have Billy Batson try to defeat the seven deadly sins and they could just turn the seven deadly sins into possessions of regular people. So like he's actually fighting people instead of fighting ethereal ghosts flying around. So you have absolutely no idea what's going on with the character. Where do his powers come from? What's the deal with the lightning? How is it that he's so powerful that he can fight Superman? So he draws on the different powers of a bunch of different gods from the Greek pantheon. So I know you're all wondering if this has crossover with the Wonder Woman movie because she is literally the daughter of one of the Greek gods. Early theory is, is that yes, they will tangentially connect him to the Wonder Woman mythos because of her pantheon. But the different gods are the different names of the acronym Shazam. So Shazam is the name that he calls out to activate his powers. It's his name, but it's also an acronym that stands for Solomon, Hercules, Atlas, Zeus, Achilles, and Mercury. So as the different names of the gods imply, they each give him different abilities. The Black Adam character is just a dark version of that. This is about 5,000 years old. He's just like a previous experiment by the wizard Shazam in creating a champion of Earth who went super dark when his people were slaughtered. So his family gets killed, he turns evil and starts using his powers for bad. So the wizard eventually ends up creating Billy Batson to combat that. But what will probably happen is, is you'll start hearing more announcements about actors that they cast. We'll start getting an idea for the story they might do. But what will happen is, is I have new Game of Thrones, new Walking Dead, and there'll be new Marvel and DC on Monday. So congratulations to Cakehead. You're the latest giveaway winner. Please private message me so I can get your contact details. You can click here for brand new Flash and brand new Arrow crossover footage. And you can click here for brand new Justice League footage. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.